Hello everybody, uh, we're back on our travels. It's Thursday lunchtime, uh, which is an odd day to set up, but it just goes around my shift work. And we've, we're heading off to an area that we've never really explored very much, but Together. Helen used to work and live around here uh, many years ago when she was in the IEF. Um, and we're heading towards Lincolnshire. We're going to hopefully have a couple of nights here at Lincoln itself. Um, we're just coming up to one of those real oddities of Great Britain. And it's one of these tiny, quaint old five private toll bridges. Now, I have been out here once or twice and I can remember it being like 15 pence or something silly like that. But what is it going to be here? Oh, look, here we come. We are. Uh, Wow, it looks like a motorhome to me. That's 60p. 60p. Four right. wheels, 60p. There we go, I've got 60p. Okay. And a bag of change. I take it that's the... Uh, is that the train? Is that uh, the river train? I don't know. But somebody's got a good deal out of this. I bet this has been happening since. Well, it's been for at least 40 years. Well, I'm going to say there's probably always a bridge here, and mm. somebody somebody gave a lord or an earl some, and he became a farmer, and they probably carried on this grand grandfather rights forever. But yeah, cars 40p. I'm hoping it's 60. He tells me it's anymore. We're going to have to have a dig in the bag again. Right. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. you. There we go. Look at that. Cheaper than the dark for crossing. Maybe and not if you have to do it every day. Well, yeah, but and you don't. You, it's quite easy to pay, whereas the dark thing. Oh is, yeah, if you ain't got a, if you ain't got access to technology, you can't pay the dark charge. No. Unless you go into a clean air zone and find a shop that you can pay in. And then you've got to pay twice. But anyway, enough rambling. We're well, on our way to Lincoln. We'll come back to you when we're a little bit closer. We've currently got 11 miles to go. Oh, hello everyone. We've arrived at the Lawn Car Park uh, in the centre of Lincoln. Uh, sun's out, it's a little bit breezy. We've just got an end spot. Helen's just uh, having a look at some gardens over there. Yeah, uh, it's pretty full at the moment, but there's been some kind of presentation. There's people in their uh, gowns, university gowns. So that's obviously been doing that. Let's get get the light behind me, so like that. Um, but you've got the castle right there. Lincolnshire, uh, or Lincoln Cathedral is right behind it. So we're gonna go and have a look and see what the town's got to offer.
So this amazing building that looks very much like it's been stalled like a Norman uh, Bailey is actually a water tower and it was built in MCM X1 so that's until like 1911 so not particularly old just over 110 years but that's a mighty bit of uh, work and trying to blend it in I couldn't imagine modern builders trying to do that Street, which was voted Britain's greatest street back in 2012. It kind of faced a lot of competition back then. But yeah, having a walk there. Helen's remembering some of the famous sights of her youth here and some that she has absolutely no recollection about. I'm very, 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 very drunk. <laughs> I thought you were protecting our nation from the communist cold war yeah when well, i wasn't being very very very, very drunk okay and I, then I, wasn't you sort of meant to be looking after people who were ill yeah when well, i wasn't <laughs> sort of been the uh, message of our lifetime now yeah.
morning everybody morning it's saturday morning uh we're just about to leave uh the launch car park in lincoln which is right next to the castle so all you've got to do is google it and i'm sure you'll find where it is uh, but there was uh three other motorhomes here and a vw camper as well as us last night so you know the parking order was around this morning checking we'd all got tickets and he knows we're all sleeping here and it's all fine mm. but we're heading off initially north we're going to go and have a drive past RF Scampton which is uh, a place where I misspend quite a lot of my youth <laughs> defending the nation oh yeah defending the nation obviously yeah and then we're going to head south try and see the International Bomber Command uh, memorial and then press on towards boston and see what's down there not in america we might have some tea though no. but not a party <laughs> definitely no parties <laughs> not us <laughs> anyway we will see where we go from here well then the little bit to the left is where the original a15 the roman road would have carried on but when they built RAF Scampton and extended the runway, they actually cut across the old road. And then it's a big bow-shaped arc that goes around the end of the runway. And this, I believe, as Helen's told me, gives Scampton its uh, insignia, which is like a bow with an arrow angled up it. The bow is the curve of the new road. The bow string is the old A15. And the arrow is the end of the runway. Very clever, really. Yeah, but we are just curving around it now. Uh, RF Scampton is to our left. 